Okay, I think we are about ready. Let's see. down on my end. There we go. And how's that? Move that up a bit. There we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on. Alright, so restart chapter. We are on chapter 7. Because of General Minerva's sudden retreat, the Allied army was able to enter the Arcanea region safely. To allow the soldiers to rest, they stopped at the famous merchant and port town of Warwick. This town had paid lots of gold to the Empire so they could freely rule and were friendly to the Allied army. At this town, surrounded by the sea and mountain, and protected by many mercenaries, the soldiers were happy to get a much-needed rest. But as if to mock their feelings, uh, as if to mock their feelings, news of an enemy ambush suddenly comes. This chapter. Yep, I remember this one. There, there's all the reinforcements. Okay. Yeah, so far these guys are nothing special. Is there any named ones? Any special units? It doesn't really look like it. Okay. Yeah, I remember this chapter. I remember it. This one is always a roadblock. Canaval, okay. With a goddess icon, alright. Alright, well... So the main issue is, once we start getting up here-ish, we need to block these forts. Because so many reinforcements show up. Alright. Cain, Caster, Sheeta, Abel, Barst, Ogma, Navar, Merrick, Lena. You know what, we'll take... Bantu with us, because maybe that could be useful. Just throw them into a bunch of enemies, maybe. Let's see. Well, I can only take like three more, so how about Drog? He's just kind of been joining us. Julian, sure, and Wendell. Just to have an extra magic user, let me go through my items. Let's see, anyone need to, like, transfer anything? You're fine. You're fine. Bars is still good. Agma's fine. Let me see. I want to, like, read reorganize that. There we go. Let's see. Bar Merrick, you have a silver lance currently. I could give that to Cain or Abel, but right now, honestly, I think I'm probably just better off to put it in storage. Drog is just kind of here. He's just kind of here. Let me just throw in the storage for now. Julian's fine. Lena needs another staff. Wendell, he's just kind of here. And Bantu's here. 
Alright. I think that's good. Let's make a save. Let's go. Prince Marth, we are mercenaries guarding Warren Town. The Grostian Knights have gathered from the Western Forts and have us completely surrounded. Right now, we are in a very dangerous situation. Luckily, the Eastern Castle is weakly guarded, so we should be able to subdue it easily. We will also aid you. Please, hurry and escape the... Escape to the Eastern Castle. So, here's the real question. Okay, we have Caesar and Rad. Caesar is so rad. Okay. Oh my god, we have an arena. Oh, do I abuse the arena? Okay, hold on. We got a shop finally. What do we got? We got a Volunaria, we got a door key, we got a heal staff, a fire and a thunder. Oh, we are definitely making purchases. And what is currently in the armory? What do we got? Steel, killing, steel and silver, slim, steel and steel. I could give Bars the steel axe, but let's be honest, this guy has a silver. But I guess there's no harm in having both. It really isn't. And Lena needs a new heal staff. Oh, how do I want to handle this? We gotta deal with all that, too. If I could get, like, right here-ish? Like, right here, we can... We can wall him. So right now, I feel like Kane and Abel can block. I think I want Sheeta to go after this axe user to get rid of him. It's a silver axe. 19 strength. Yeah, Sheeta will survive. Uh, what is his defense? His defense is three. Seven. Fourteen. Not enough. If you have your... Steals 15, 12, so it would be 12 damage. 12 damage? 24? Yeah, that will, that will be enough. Okay. Steal? Wait. Okay. How do we want to handle this? Caster already has a decent amount of steel, so he's fine. Agma's fine at the moment. Same thing with Navarre. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to handle this. Merrick also could use the other magic. Wendell's just here. And he has a barrier staff, which I could give to Lena at any time or have him use it. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to have Bantu go ahead and start buying stuff. Okay. We are first going to buy one heal, one fire, and one thunder. There we go. Volunaries? Wouldn't be a not bad idea for uh, everyone to maybe stock up on eventually. So who, who should go into the arena? Mars level 5. Magma's level 6. Caster's level 7. Merrick's level... No. Merrick's level 4. I have a feeling maybe so I have I think some characters should probably go in here. Just for a little bit. Um at the moment. Let's try this. 
Can it able go up here and block? Which is kind of cute. I want Farce to go ahead and get new axes. Caster can probably go up and help out. Same thing with Navar and Han. If I want to mess around with the arena, I think I need to do it now. I wouldn't mind giving Marth a single level. what the low and high ends are. No! That's, that's over a thousand. So, closer to 900 is probably what I should be looking for. Seven, 790, we'll take it. Enemies level 8. Only leap by pressing B before the next round begins. Yep, that ain't gonna work. Wait. Oh, I stopped it in. I stopped it in time. I stopped it in time. Jeez. Can Marth just not handle it? Barst. And you know what? Maybe... Nah, no. Just, just the one. Just the one. We'll just have Caesar hang out here. This is Julian Lena. set you here. Actually, you should probably go heal Marth. Alright, let's see how it goes. Messing with the arena is just kind of a bad idea. I kind of wish the health bar was actual numbers instead of just the points, because I can't tell at a glance. And I don't think that's something I can change. Animation, sound, message, terrain. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be something I can change. Go here. Item trade. The heal. Okay, Lena, go ahead and heal. That did not go well. And Marth, I don't think, got any experience. Because normally. What would happen is he would get a little bit of EXP for how much damage he dealt. But he, that didn't happen. Let's go ahead and trade. There. Merrick has more options to work with. Now, you can go ahead and trade the steel axe just so he has extra stuff to work with. Right. 
this pirate wasn't going for Sheeta. Just want to use the silver, uh, the steel, and that should be good enough. There we go. Go Sheeta. And there's the silver axe. We could give that to Barst. Or just send it in supply, that works too. I could just warp, like, <clears throat> Navarre over there or something. You know what, I'm gonna give Marth another go at the arena. No. It's kinda clear I need a lower number. Alright, we'll try it again. A level eight. That's not the guy. Okay, it's a thief. Like five damage. Okay. Uh, I think we might be okay. Sadly, he attacks first. However, I should be able to do this. There we go. Forty EXP. Oh, we got an achievement for fighting in the arena, or winning in the arena, whatever. Okay, that's something. I that wasn't even part of the plan. All right, Kane. Able, just you gotta, you, you just gotta. Let's see how this goes. All right. Hope it goes well. What should she to do? I don't know what she to should do. Got a different problem. Lena is not up there to heal. Okay. Honestly, Kane not being able to KO is probably actually saving his butt right now. Abel probably not giving the kill also probably saves him. Saves him from getting attacked more. How do we want to handle this? Oh, there's a lot here. I don't think we can afford to mess around with the arena. I honestly don't think we can. As much as I would like to, the game is not really giving me a good opportunity. It might not be- you know what? It might not be a bad idea to grab another, uh, heal staff just to have. 
Yeah, you know what? I will. I'll go ahead and have uh, like Rad buy another heal staff to hold on to. Won't be the worst idea. Up here. Oh, this is just. At least Abel has a Vulnerary. Here, let's go ahead and let Caster... Was HP? Oh no, you got skill. I didn't catch that. All right. Uh, we got attacked once. We'll be fine. Kane needs to go for the KO. He needs to go for the KO. I guess you also start heading up. Mm, okay. Arena doesn't seem worth it, at least not on this chapter. Oh, thank you, Kane. And you got a crit? Okay. Take it. Come on, Kane. Ugh, of course he got hit. Good. I want him to not do any more. Let's see. Skill, weapon level, defense, and HP. You know, I will take that. I will take that. Alright. Come on, Abel. got a crit, and he dodged, so that worked out. We got a level, level 8, skill, luck, weapon level. Okay, so he's more accurate, and he's more likely to crit, and dodge crits, I guess. Okay, able dodge, didn't get the kill, but that's okay. We gotta deal with bows now. We gotta deal with the hunters. Oh, thank you, Kane. You dodged. And Abel also dodged. He it was an eight percent dodge. Wow. is the best way to handle this. Okay, what is the best way to handle this right now? Alright, come on, Sheeta. You need to start flying. Start heading that way. Brad, you go ahead and buy one more heal. One more heal staff, just to have. Missing like two HP, but that's okay. Eric, Bontu, Barst. Okay, Barst can stand where Abel currently is at. I could also have Caster go ahead and grab a KO. I think it's not the worst idea. Okay. 
These guys have bows. If I set two people here, someone's gonna get attacked by two. No, get attacked by three. Cool. You know what? Let's trade Kane the Volinary. Abel is going to use the Javelin, because I forgot he had that. It's not accurate, but it got the KO. I forgot he had that. Right here. If, uh, that accuracy is garbage, though. But... <clears throat> no, 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 no. We're going to keep the iron equipped. I just want the path blocked. Yeah, Kane's fine at the moment. Let's go ahead and have him use his Balneary. Oh my god, it's only 10 HP? Well, that's something. Navar and all them can wait. Lena, just start heading up with them, and we are good. Kane gets hit, 5 damage. Kane's getting attacked again. 5 more damage. It's a good thing I had him heal. So now Abel's being attacked. Oh, we got the counter. Oh, this hunter! Oh, having the javelin probably weighs him down a lot. Barst is getting attacked. Which is four damage. That's not bad. He could tank that. Then I gotta prepare for the armor knights that are right there. Oh my god. Okay. Marth, head up. Spawn two. You also head up. Uh, why don't you have more movement? It's because you're old, I know. Merrick, you're not in range yet, but you're close. Right. Abel, you just, you need to back out. There, you're safe. Lena, start heading up here. He will get attacked by two. Barst, if you go right ahead and attack. What are we looking at? 21 attack. With seven defense. What's your... You have an attack speed of five? Wow. Might as well weaken, I guess. That worked down? Okay. If we have caster, go ahead and attack. 15. So, no. What about the steel? That was 18, I believe? 11 damage. Not enough. Not enough. You know what? I think Kane needs to also back out. I'm going to set Ogma in here. Have an attack. That's fine. I don't care if he kills. I almost don't want the Armor Knights right now. Uh, I 
could grab... You know what? I'm gonna grab the KO. Come on, Caster. You got this. I feel like the hand axe, not only is it not a that accurate, it's also very heavy, I think. So it wouldn't really... I think he would get doubled. Just waiting. They're waiting. Okay, um. I know it adds plane. But if I go ahead and heal up some units, I won't be missing much. Fawn 2 cannot get in range yet, so we'll just set him up. Marth. I don't think I want him in range yet, so we'll send him up here. Done. You didn't miss much. You did not miss much. Parse could use some healing. There's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Hmm. Okay. So one thing to consider. You're at 12. Okay, wait a minute. If I get rid of this guy and set Navar here with the Armor Slayer, he can deal with these guys. The trade-off, though, is if he can get attacked by two bow units, And he would just get attacked by four. So you almost want to send Merrick and... Mm. How do you want to do this? go here, why would I want that? I think Agma could go ahead and, and uh, weaken. 13 attack. I'll use a strong weapon. Thinking about it, these guys should also follow up. 
because I can have these guys plug the, the forts. So that way my main units don't have to be the ones to do that. Okay. Abel's too weak, or no, Kane's too weak. Barst could use some healing, but I really... No, you know, I... No, no, no. So I could grab this KO. is doing pretty good. Level 9, skill, defense, and HP. Okay. Barst. Okay. Grab the KO. He needs to back out and heal. Strength, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. That is a great level. That is a great, fantastic level. So, I could have Navar go up here with the Armor Slayer. 26 damage. More like 15. I attack twice, I get the KO. However... He has 14 attack, 7 damage. Yeah, Navar can only take 3 hits before he dies. Oh my god. A 4th hit will kill him. And that's not counting bows. That is not counting bows. Barst is going to survive. Because I don't think he's going to get this KO. Mm, oh, mm, okay. He was able to double, and you know what? He probably was going to get the kill. Even without the crit. This is actually bad. Bar's too strong. I need I, I, I need you to miss. I need you to miss. Oh. Barst, I really need you to miss. I need you to dodge and I need you to miss. Oh my god, thank you for the dodge. And he missed. We'll see. We'll take it. We will take that. Barst is safe. He is currently safe. We'll take those. We will take those. I spoke too soon. Agma got a crit. 11% crit. I spoke too soon. Okay, wait, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. One damage. Okay. That was close. That was way too close. All right. Barst, you get out of here. Um... Marth? 
Can you do anything right here? So 20 damage. So we're talking nine? Yeah, we can. Marth can grab the kill. Marth can grab the kill. He needs the EXP at some point. There we go. Not enough. Alright. Let's take the slow. Sadly, Bantu, I don't think he's useful. Not right now. I don't know if... I don't know if he attacks from range. No, I think about it. Okay, Kane. Or, no, not Kane. Abel. Let's see how well we can do this. Navar? Iron Sword. 13 attacks, 7 defense. Fifteen attack, six defense, nine. What's your attack speed? Nine up to KO. Okay. Okay, Navar, can you just get rid of this guy right here? You have thirteen attack, six defense, seven. What about the steel? 16 attack. Nine. 16 attack, 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have Nafar get rid of this guy. Steel. We're using the steel. Okay. Close. I'm gonna say level 7. Skill, luck, and weapon level. Don't give me the happy music. We're not done yet. Uh, Merrick? Actually, can you even do anything? So, 13, 7, 6, and 7. Wow, Blizzard and Thunder do the same damage. Fire Dragon, Ice Dragon, Flyers, okay. Thunder has a better attack speed than Blizzard. More crit, but no effective damage, okay. So, 7 damage. 7 attack speed. We can't get the KO on anyone. Merrick, you really need to do better. Okay, Abel. Let's try Abel. Okay. With the Iron Lance, you need to get rid of someone. Let's see. 16 attack, 4 attack speed. Right, nope. Okay, yeah, we could just get rid of one of these two. It doesn't matter who. It really doesn't matter. Perfect. Level 9, strength, luck, weapon level. Perfect, okay. Merrick? No, you're... You can't do anything anymore. Caster. This guy's trapped. So what if I were to go here? Nine. Nine, eighteen. Wait, did I, did I? No, fifteen. Okay. Wait. Nine, eight. Oh, no! That is right. Do I have enough attack speed? I do not have enough attack speed. What is their attack? Eleven... 13. 6. So, 5 and 13. So, 
five damage, and then maybe another five, so that's ten. Thirteen minus six. Seventeen. Okay, I think Caster can do this. We don't need the steel, so let's just go ahead and start weakening. Granted, I don't think this one will go after Castor. Hell, I don't think... I don't think this guy will attack Castor. He'll probably attack more. Alright. Lena, you need to heal. Actually, a heal stat... Yeah, it won't bring him to max, but it'll bring him damn close. That'll be good enough. Oh, nope, never mind. A little bit of extra res, I think, helped with that. Lena got a level. Level 9. Strength and weapon level. Okay. Kane can't do anything. We could just set him here. It's not hurting him. It's hurting anything. Sheeta. Actually, um, if I have her here, she can't get attacked with the Slim Lance for an attack of 10, that's 3 damage. With the Steel Lance, with an attack of 15, 2 minus 7, that's 8 damage, 8, 16. That's, that weakens him. That weakens him, why not? It's not hurting anything. She that can't get hit. Okay. okay. Everyone else that's over here needs to start moving up. Because I want them to plug the, the forts. So that's a door key. And Merrick, well, you can't really... No, you can do something. Seven. Attack of 13. Defensive... Defensive four, that's nine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Wait, what about Excalibur? Excalibur could just get the KO right now. And you know what? I will do that. Merrick doesn't even need to get hit. So I'd rather do that. 40 EXP. Finally got a level. Level 5. Luck. Weapon level and HP. Merrick. You need, like... You need speed or something. And Bantu can't really do anything. You can just hang out here. Alright. Yeah, you're attacking evil. That's fine. That is fine. The main threat is over. But I want my calves to rush over here. As well as Sheeta. You're level 5. You're also level 5. You know what? I'm gonna give Martha the KO. He's having trouble getting in range and actually killing things. So is Merrick, but. Oh, never mind, Marth. You, you... Well, he got the level. Skill, luck, HP. Thanks, Marth. Thank you. Fine. Uh... Oh! Sheeta doesn't even have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough. No matter what I do, Sheeta's not close enough. So I'll let her grab the game. 
I think we just need the slim. She can use an extra level. I think she's the lowest level right now. Level 5, skill, luck, weapon level. Okay. Alright. Cain and Abel. You two need to start rushing over to these forts. Bantu. Agma. And Navar. As well as Caster. Like everyone else is going in this way. out of those. Enforcements have not shown up yet. That's good. We got a little bit of time. We go here. That way you're completely safe. Pain, you can make it to here. Abel, you can make it here. And right now, let's just have Ogma and Navar rush. Hopefully this will be enough. Caster, you wait. Merrick, you hang down here. O2. Reinforcements still have not shown up. That's good. That is a good thing. Cheetah? Plug the other fort. Agma and Navar. Okay, just have to check it. There, these forts are plugged. Reinforcements will not show up. I want to make sure Julian, Wendell, and Rad replace Kane, Abel, and Sheeta. Drug. Caesar. And you know what? You know what? Castor is not gonna help. Actually, if he uses the Steel Bow, he could probably actually deal a little bit of damage, but he's not going to be that useful. I'm going to heal him up, and I'm going to have... I'm actually going to have Castor replace one of the two, like Navar. Alright. 
cast her head up. Everyone else here can start heading to the right and start crossing the bridge. He is not going to move. He is a silver lance. Bontu's here. We may actually use him. Although, on a single enemy, I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, I still kind of want to test out Bontu here and see how he works. are now not needed over there. Cheetah. Cable. Now one thing you could do is you could probably just leave one fort open and have the surrounding units take out the one unit, but with these guys plugging it, I don't really need that. So if Barst would be the one to attack, what are we looking at? An attack of 22, attack speed of 6, he can double. 22 minus 16... What's that? Uh... 6? Is that 6? It might be 6. Alright, Merrick, if you were to attack, let's use Thunder. Attack speed of 5, so you could double. 7, 14, 14 damage. Actually, wait a minute, hold on, let me check. Fire is weaker. Blizzard's also 7. Uh, okay. Bantu's just kind of here. Mark's level 6, Mark's level 1. I could give Barst the EXP. He just needs, like, one fight. Yo, you! Why are you here? Damn, I'll finish you. Gonna need healing. Skill, luck, and HP. Okay. Merrick, can you grab the KO? Not with Thunder. He can't with Thunder. And with Excalibur, it's not enough. Okay, so here's how it's gonna have to work Thunder? Merrick's gonna have to weaken. Here for 20 damage, we can deal four. Marth, you really need a point in strength. I mean, the crit helps, but you need a point in strength. But well, we won't find out yet. And we got the goddess, goddess icon for extra luck. Glory to Grust. Ugh. I can't believe I finished this in my first attempt. Granted, hindsight's 2020. Knowing that these forts are dangerous. Let's move on. Prince Marth, I am Katria of Madan's White Wings. I've actually arrived in secret to request for help from your highness. 
Our princess Minerva is preparing to, to rebel against the Delu Delunian Empire. But because her younger sister Maria is still in Deluna's grasp, she has been unable to act. Please, rescue Princess Maria! And we beat Chapter 7. After accepting Catria's request, Prince Marth headed to, the ca uh, to rescue the captive Princess Maria of Meadow, and so decided to mount an attack on Dale Prison. Within the Allied army, many suggested it was a trap set by General Minerva, but Prince Marth believed that, in the Battle of Left Candid, he saw a gentle female. Wasn't the fearful enemy that everyone described. That person had the same expression as his elder sister. A tragic and painful. From Minerva, Marth saw the figure of his elder sister, Elise, who was still missing after being captured by the Empire in the Palace of Him. By the Empire? Being captured by the Empire? It, oh, in the place of him. Okay. Princess Maria must be rescued. Then perhaps that person can also be saved. Marth's heart was decided upon this action. Okay. We got some treasure, so our thief will be useful. Let's take a look. We got some dragoons. Sarov, okay. You have a speed ring. Fortify, okay. Any other named? We got more he Oh, our first he hero's crest. Drop a steel bow. Very nice. And there's Maria. Okay, we didn't miss much. Didn't really do all that much. So I definitely need to worry about these two. These two are my biggest concerns. And not only do we need to save Maria, we got three treasure chests. All right. So spring kind of my normal units. Arst, Ogma, Navar, Merrick, Julian. I need to bring Julian. Lena. I don't need Drog. I don't need Rad. I don't need Rickard. I don't need Kenta. Caesar. Alright. We'll take Bontu. And we'll take Wendell. I guess. Again, Drog was just kind of there. Um, is there any... Kane could use an iron. He could use another lance. I could trade from Drog if needed. Bars is fine. Someone had yeah, deposit the heal staff. Oh, wait, uh, Barst. Go ahead and grab the. Wait, we have this. I don't remember having this many. Oh, okay. These are from the other units. I see, I see, I see. I was very confused, because I'm like, I don't remember that many. Wait, where's the other axe? Nope, 
not the devil's axe. We had a... We had a... Uh, there's the silver axe. Can't use it yet, though. A weapon level of 10. What's your weapon level? 8. Close, though. We're getting close. I just thought about it. Uh, silver sword. It's probably a weapon level of 10. You have 7. We're probably fine. Probably fine. Alright, so Kane could use another lance. I think everyone else is just kind of okay. Make a save. Let's go. Princess Minerva, you abandoned your post. Why have you come back? If you even attempt to betray me here, you can forget about Princess Maria's life. I trust you understand this. Yes, I don't plan on opposing you. But please... Let me see Maria, even for a short time. She's still just a child. It must be hard for her. General, please, please let me see Maria. That isn't possible. Princess Maria is an important hostage. If you're worried about her, then stop talking and follow your orders. General, there's trouble! The rebel army has appeared from the east of Dale Prison. What? How could the rebels know to come here? Damn. Order the dragoons to charge and request for reinforcements from the main squadron. Don't let them enter the prison. Crush them before they get near. Prince Marth. So, yeah, we need to go down and around. There's Minerva. Now, the question is... Does she talk to Marth? Or do I have to get Maria first? No matter which... No matter what I do, though, I have to rush in. Let's start heading this way. I need to get rid of the thief, so that takes priority. Nothing I can really do at the moment. Sending in Navarre with the Armor Slayer for like these first couple of fights is not bad. Not the worst idea, but I just I just need to get rid of the thief. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Warp. Let's warp Navarre. I guess we'll have him warp right here. Have him start fighting. The thief's not going to attack him. So what we can do is... What's your range? Damn it. Alright. Navar? Armor Slayer? Go for it. And with the crit, that helps. Everyone else start heading down. I could have warped Bantu and see how that goes. I could have done that. You know what? If I fail, I might try that. I want to. I actually want to know how he works. If I fail, I'm gonna do that. Just have him turn into a dragon. That's not Minerva. They're gonna fly up and around. Oh, 
they have to go down and around. Okay. Minerva is already on the move. So, what do you have? A physic? Armor, armor guy did not move. So, 13 attack, 10, what's your attack speed? Yeah, you know what? We got this. Okay, we stopped the thief, and that was the only one. Don't have to worry about that. We gotta worry about the freaking. Uh, <laughs> we need to worry about them, though. Okay, Wendell, start heading down. Julian has to go in and start working on there. Marth, I think, has to go in as well. Wait. Who talks to Maria? I think it has to be Marth. Uh, two. So, honestly, Navarre can take this guy out. And we can let Cain or Abel work in there. Who needs a ball in there? Barst. Keep Barst where you're at. Sheeta, go ahead. Let's just trade. I should have done this on the prep screen, but that's okay. I'm gonna send Cain in to help out Navarre. And I gotta be careful. These caps are going to show up at some point. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to handle this. Well, honestly, getting everyone in the building is probably for the best. They can't fly into it. You know what? That's that's the strategy. Get everyone in the building. Who's laughing? Who's it? Getting everyone in the building is a good idea. sure how that works. Uh, and Lena is just so far behind. She's gonna get caught. I just know it. Navar, go in. I want you with the armor slayer. Julian, you have I can't I can't rescue. That's the that's the bad part about this. I just gotta hope everyone is able to make it in. And Lena's currently sitting really far back. Magma. Marth. Okay. Abel. I guess we'll just have Abel hang out here, because someone needs to guard the front. Like, right here or right here. And I'll probably just let Abel do it. That's it. Alright. Oh, man. 
The treasure chest can wait. The important part is getting Maria recruited. So that way we can get Minerva. Got his KOs. And of course, he's in range of an archer, but that might be the only one. He's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's the only one. Oh my god. And again, I forget how this works. Okay, Kane, go right ahead. We got 15 attack. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, no, he's fine where he's at. Cheetah should go inside. Bantu, just keep running. Julian, yeah, you had him there. Lena, okay, wait, Wendell first. Okay. Caster, just kind of hang out here. Don't know what to do. Marth, you should actually just stay here. Agma, you as well. I tried getting away. Alright. Well, I tried. I tried. Let's see how it goes. Suspense is killing me. Kane's gonna get attacked. It's fine. Oh, I didn't catch that. Eleven? Oh, I did not catch that. Navarre's dead. Um. Okay. Let me pull. Let me go ahead and get the command. For a reset, uh, where did Minerva go? Did, is she not getting close? I don't think she's getting close. Am I? Maybe I don't need to worry about Minerva. All right. I know what the map looks like. Right. And 
wait, you know what? Let's trade a Volinary over to Karst, and let's trade a Volinary over to... Who needs one? I know Cain and Abel have one, Vars has one. Probably one of these two. Alright. I will not play the opening. It seems like Minerva is not wanting to attack us. Just kind of holding back. The other dragoons will fight me, though. Okay. How do I want to do this? Bantu? If I... I want to test out Bantu, so... Okay, I can make this work. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Transforms into a fire dragon. Durgan. Let's see how long that lasts. Now we will go ahead and warp Bantu. And we'll warp him. Torp him. He He's not going to attack. So. That's the thing. I. I need to be able to target the, the thief, so let's just head this way. This also helps Lena more because she's already moved up. She's already moved up, so she's not falling behind. But as we kind of saw, a lot of our units were in range of the Dragoons. There's only a few units that can actually make it inside. And I wonder if Bantu has got this covered. I just realized, yeah, Marth has the goddess icon. Riders are on their way. Okay, we get to see how this works. So it's technically magic based. He has 14 defense, that's already really good. And his accuracy is garbage. Still a dragon. I don't know how long that lasts. But for now, let's work on getting rid of the thief. That's good. Get the physics staff out of there. That's nice. So maybe Bantu can actually just deal with everything. And if he can deal with everything, maybe he could just kind of hang out here. 
maybe? I don't know. I don't know how this should work. And Lena is like desperate need of movement. I think we can kind of get everyone over here. I want Kane or Abel to do with the calves. All right. Yep, go after the dragon again. Again, I have 86 accuracy. It's not the best. But he should also hit. There we go. Yeah, the accuracy shouldn't have been... Anyway. Okay, let's see how long he's the dragon for. of turning into a dragon. He's still there. He also seems to have more movement. Yeah, he has seven. And he can attack from range. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna make sure Sheeta is at least safe. No, wait, no, she can help out. Abel, you go ahead and head over here. Julian, you keep going. Maybe just keep moving down. Bar. Lena, keep going. Maybe we can hang out just like right over here at the entrance. Here, I guess. Marth? As long as I don't know how helpful you'll be. Alma? And can honestly wait. Lena is, like, so desperate to try to run away, but she only has five movements. <laughs> She's in danger. She's just in constant danger. Man, I really wish rescue was a thing. I'm really curious to see how bad well he's going to use it. Alright. Okay, good. He somehow even dodged. Like, he got the 7% dodge. Level 2, and we got a little bit of resistance. Okay. That's fine. Okay, yeah, you're not going to get the kill. Okay, you dealt a lot of damage. And that's good enough. Nervous on the move. Okay. Fontu is still a dragon. Let's get rid of the hunter. Try to anyway. Oh, thank 
Thank you. Just what we need. Okay. Julian, head inside. Lena? Uh, you just gotta go here. Where are we looking? That's Minerva. Javelin? Caster. Attack uh, speed is zero. Okay. Equip steel. Oh, an ads plane. Uh, I think I'm gonna get things set up for the next turn, which honestly isn't much more. And then I might go, re like, refill my water or something. Alright, uh, that seems like an okay spot. I'm going to take a minute, I'm gonna refill my water while the ad's playing. You're right. Okay. Uh, the ad looks like it's done. Refill my water. Uh, do that. There we go. I think we're good. Bantu's in the right spot. Julian's on the way. Yep, we're good. Okay. Minerva will not attack me. Castor's in range of one dragon. Or wyvern. That's a lot of damage. Abel's got this. I mean, he won't get the KO, not with this, but he's got it covered. He has the, he has the left side protected. Okay, Bantu, how well are you gonna fight? Just needs to hit. There we go. We even got a crit out of that. Not like it was needed, but we got it. And that was the steel bow. We could give that to Caster. Minerva's just gonna hide. We are still a dragon. Let's just get rid of this guy. He knows he doesn't. He knows he has no chance in fighting and killing this dragon. Go on to. 
Okay, he got nothing out of that stat boost. That's part of the problem with Bontu. He gets, like, no stat buffs. All right, Caster needs to heal, which I have Lena here. Uh, we have Excalibur, which we could go ahead and get rid of this guy. Right? Uh, Excalibur, 37... Okay, I guess Kane is not getting the KO. Dragoons are annoying. How about Agma? Can Agma get the KO? So with the iron with 13 uh nope. It has to be the steel. 16 attack. Three, yep. You'll have to attack twice, but you can do it. Get the chest later. Okay, now here's the real question. Is Minerva gonna attack me or is she just gonna stay back? Let's just heal. She kinda backed out. And that's fine. But she gonna, is she going to stay that way? I think I'm going to have Caster go right ahead, stand here, and wait. Where's your range? Your reach, Merrick. Merrick doesn't have the defense to survive. Bar and oh boy, I don't. Does Marth? Does he need to talk to Maria? She is technically an enemy. She is in the red. Let's bring Marth in here. I forget how the order of this chapter works. She does gonna do much here. Lindell, you're just being over here. I forget how this works. Yeah, that's fine. I put him there on purpose. Again, this just... The biggest factor is if Minerva is going to attack. That's the biggest factor right here. It doesn't seem like she is. Oh, I lucked out there. Able lucked out. I needed that dodge. Is that a steel lance? Yeah, that is. Um, you know what? I think the silver is overkill at the moment. We'll put the silver in storage and grab it later. When I need it. Yeah, I... Abel lucked out. Level 
10 strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. All right, Abel needs healing. Minerva is backing out. Okay. Oh, and Bantu's done. Let me look at stats. It is currently turn six. So he transformed at the beginning of turn one. So yeah, you transform for five turns. Honestly, Bantu, he dealt some damage. He did some work. Okay. So the Firestone being 18 uses is actually not that bad. If you are someone that uses Bantu, or wants to actually utilize him, the idea is you use him for like a chapter, and like you transform him, you put him into, put him in range of a big group of enemies. Iron. Is that enough? 27. Yeah. Put him in range of a big group of enemies and just let him go to town. Granted, he doesn't have the best accuracy. When we eventually get Tiki, she'll probably be the better dragon, and I'd rather use her. However, Bantu has his uses for this. And the fact that it's just like he transforms for five turns and he's still in the dragon, and he only uses the stone one time, I'm okay with that. I like that system. Okay, Merrick, I'll let you grab the kill. This is what you're here for. Alright. Now, since I'm not worried about Minerva, and there's only a few guys left, everyone could just start everyone could just start moving. You're level 7 and you're both level 7. Oh, duh. Abel needs healing. How much health do you need? Yeah, you need a full heal. You need a mend. Yeah, to be honest, I may end up using Bantu a little bit more. Just like, if I use Bantu, make it like a once a chapter sort of thing. Just be like, oh, okay, in this chapter I'm going to use him. I'm going to set him in range of like 10 enemies. He'll handle it. Maybe, ne maybe on a fort. Yeah, she's just... She's just hanging out. It's gonna take a minute. I know Marth can open treasure chests. But... I think we need to focus on getting Maria recruited. I might as well give Castor his new bow. Everyone else can just start heading to the left, I think. So just go around. Not... Mm. Maybe I'll let Mark fight him or something. I don't know. Okay, you know what? We'll send. Oh, I didn't realize Ogma was already hurt. Okay, I'll send Navar this way. 
have Navarra go up and help out against against the hero. Wendell, you're probably better off just following along. Follow the group, follow the crowd. Alright. Yeah, she's just staying close by. Seven, nope. I'll get the chest later. I'd rather get the door open. Alright, Bantu, uh... Do this. We go right ahead and trade. Caster. Another steel bow. Why not go ahead and heal Agma? Uh, never mind. Next turn, we'll heal Agma. My mistake. I hate that weight's on the top. There's gonna be reinforcements, isn't there? with the Armor Slayer. Could help out with both. And then we got Fortify User. Yeah, not much left. Yep. Just staying close. Yeah, I better let Mark get close. I guess Bantu could just head inside. He's not gonna do anything. But yeah, now I'm, I'm kind of seeing the point of like, yeah, these maps are big. And that's just like... The maps are large for no reason. <laughs> They're large, but it's like, no one really has a good way to get around, you know? Thank you for rescuing me. Please tell my sister that I'm safe. She will definitely be happy. Also, I would like to aid you, Lord Marth. By your side, can I? And we got... We got Maria. Who also comes with a heal staff. Uh, another cleric. I don't know if we need to. Maria's just already, you know, having that covered. I'm gonna open the door. Yeah, if I'm gonna open the door, I'm gonna be waiting a minute. On to just do that. 
now we have Mark talk to Minerva. Alright, King, I need you to go in here. I think we're at the point where the game's not selling us iron, uh, iron lances anymore. And if they're not gonna sell us iron anymore, we're gonna sell weapon. Might as well sell the iron for 20 gold. Yes. Might as well just give him another steel. And make steel like the new thing that everyone's gonna be using. Just use up the rest of the iron. What do we got in here? any of this. I don't think we need any of that. Sheeta's currently okay on weapons. She could just hang out over here. And everyone just keep on running. We'll get there eventually. I swear it, we will. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> yep, she's on her way to Marth. We'll open the door next turn. Maria, just kind of hang out here, I guess. Wait. You might as well wait because you're done. So, if we're talking about steel stuff now, does anyone need new things? could give Wendell a fire tome just to have, but I'm gonna be honest. One, you're better off with thunder, and two, I'm not planning on actually using it, so I don't care. Come on, Merrick. And even then, Merrick is already, like, kind of hit and miss. Might as well bring some of my guys closer. With what they do. The seal. Let's see if that one good. Okay. It kind of seems like we're kind of getting close to being done with iron stuff. The game's just going to sell us steel. And so that will be the priority. Okay, Marth. Greetings, Prince Marth. I am Minerva Meda. Thank you for rescuing Maria. We were on opposing sides in the past, but now we no longer need to be enemies. My brother, Machaeus, led the majority of Meda to side with the Delum Delumian Empire. He was also the cause of my father's death, if possible. I want to defeat him with my own hands. Also, please help me rescue my subordinates. They are the three sisters, Paula, Petria, and Est of the White Wings. The Delum Delumian Empire feared they would rebel, so they separated them from my side. But if they knew I was still alive, they would come back for me. The citizens of Medon are suffering under the Delu Delumian Empire. Please, let us fight together with your highness. And we got Minerva. I will probably have her be a mainstay. And if 
I'm gonna do that, might as well give her some new weapons. Alright, so we'll let you open the door. And the bar. How well can you do against this guy? So attack speed of 11, attack of 16. So we deal 6. We can deal 6 damage to him. He deals 15 to me. Seven. So that's eight. Okay. I'm going to set him here. We are going to equip the Killing Edge for the higher crit chance. And we're going to wait. I will probably have to use a Volinary, but I also have Maria here. So I can, eat, I can use Maria to heal. Julian is going to head all the way back here. And you know what? It'll be faster for Marth to head this way. And up and around, basically. Alright. I want to get rid of these guys. Sheeta will start working on this guy. Steel Lance. Um... I don't think Castor is going to help. We have Merrick. Kane, Abel, and... Honestly, Ogma deals de decent damage. Also, Barst. Barst does too. Barst is like the only axe user you need. some new weapons for herself, and then we're good. Come on, Navarre. Ah, oh, with the Killing Edge, I'm faster now, so I double. Okay, let's see. So yeah, I took eight damage. I should not attack. I, if I'm correct, I do not attack. No. We wait. I will not die. We wait. Julian? Uh, I, I'll go ahead and let Mark grab this one. A Worm Slayer! Oh, yes, that is nice. Someone needs that. You know what? I'll... I'll go ahead and just heal him. Alright, who's left? Yeah, Minerva's not gonna fight today. Sheeta, can you... No, you're not in range just yet. Steel. Um... I guess I'll just put... I'll put Kane in range. Just so someone's here. Bars to go over here. Ogma, you get closer. What the... Wait! Cliff! You can actually move up of the cliff? Huh. Interesting. Probably uses up some movement. I can have Wendell buy weapons if needed. But it's, it's going to take a bit before Marth gets over there. So, I'll be okay. Yeah. 
Yep, slowly walk up to the cab. Seven. Just seven damage? Not that good. And there's the crit. Strength, speed, weapon level, max HP, and we got the Hero's Crest. Hmm. Neither Navar nor Ogma can use it yet. Right, Marth, can you keep going? Julian, start heading back to the other treasure chest. I guess I'll go ahead and just heal. Never mind, I won't heal. Cheetah, go ahead. Attack of 10, defense of 4, 6. Steal. 15. Ah, fine. Ads playing. They're not me. I don't think they're missing much. Never mind, you dodged. Okay. Oh, can Merrick get the KO? No, he's too... Just short. Just short. If I attack with the steel... Seven damage. So he deals 17 to me. Which is nine. Not enough. Okay. I try to have Kane handle it, and I still can. I could just let him wait. Uh, who's left? Come on, Minerva. that in mind. Right, the bishop healed. And now... Yep. Okay, so Kane needs healing. Go ahead, Kane, get out of there. Might as well fully heal. Okay. What level are you? You're level 10? Okay. Merrick, can you grab the KO? What if we use fire? Six damage. Even if I double the... Nope. Alright. We'll use thunder. Finally, level 6, you got luck, and defense, weapon level, HP. Where's the speed? There was supposed to be some speed. Okay, what do you have? You have, uh, steel, lance, and your heavy armor set. Okay. I might as well just have you attack again. There, yep, yeah, that's something. We'll get him eventually. Marth, keep going. The Wyvern Slayer. I wonder if I should hand that to, like, Agma. 
Or should I keep it on the north? I don't know who, who should have it. Did I move Minerva? No, I did not. I think we're good. Ah, reinforcements. There they are. They do have to go around, so we gotta wrap this up soon. They are calves. I think they did say reinforcements were going to show up. If I have to, I could have gone to transform into a dragon again. Julian, you still need to get the treasure chest. Minerva, you still need a new weapon. Okay. Let's see if I can wrap this up. It's a hit. Good. Abel, can you get the hit? 15, yeah, you, you gotta go for it. Thank you. You got rid of the healer. has Armor Slayer, but we might not need it. Merrick? How low can you do? Seven... No, it's actually more like four. Yeah. Again, more like four damage. You head over here. Alright, let's heal him up. Almost there. Okay. The cane should start heading down. Deal with the calves if necessary. Same thing with Caster. Those three? I think it's just those three left. Yeah. Ah, they have so much movement. Do I need to have Bontu uh, turn into a dragon again? I did pretty good, but... Ugh. I could have had Wendell buy the stuff and start meeting up with Minerva. Do that. Navar. With the Armor Slayer, for 27 damage, you deal 10. I have to go for it. You're all useless! In that case, let me personally take care of them. Die, Rebels. Navar for the crit. Thanks, Navar. Just what we needed. There we go. Level 9. Speed, luck, defense. Defense, HP, and we got a spree speed ring. Alright. The Altian Knights are strong. So strong. Alright. Julian, 
Open the chest. Eleven sword, okay. Magic sword. Can we succeed next turn? Seven. Okay, perfect. In that case, Minerva, go ahead and buy something. What do we got? Uh, you should just have a steel. How about just two steels for now? That'll probably be fine for you. Alright. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely have to bond to could turn into a dragon, but I don't think that's needed. One turn. One turn to survive. What is your movement? Julian can get out of range. Nine. Six. Nine. too safe. Should be good. We should be good. Let me go ahead and start chasing them down. It's not like I'm gonna seize the castle next turn. Should be this turn. Hold on. Julian's just like, oh no, I'm surrounded. This is awful. How will we ever escape? Seize the castle. Prince Marth, do you know about the Alcadian's Al uh, Archbishop? Um, Miloa? Miloa, okay. Yes, the great bishop who protected Arcanea with his oratone. He died in battle against Deluna, uh, Deluna's army, the Dark Pontifex Garnet, or Deluna's ally. Garnet. Yes, well, the bishop had a daughter called Lind. That child inherited his oratone. However, after Meloa died, Lind disappeared and her whereabouts are unknown. I heard she was sold to the slave market. She must be very sad right now. Marth, I beg of you, please find Lind for me and protect her in place of the deceased bishop Meloa. Read chapter 8. Let's get going. Yeah, we have enough time to do another chapter. After many long battles, the allied army led by Marth finally, ca finally catch sight of Nina's homeland of Arcanea. Called the Thousand Year Palace, the golden capital of Pallas is situated just across the mountains. Many of its treasures have been taken, and there are many imprisoned soldiers. Marth's long journey has finally reached one of its faithful destinations. Okay. Is this the chapter I'm thinking of? Yes, this is the chapter I'm thinking of. Alright. So let's see. 14 left. Let's go ahead and bring everyone I would want. Bon 
to someone else. Minerva. Uh, yeah, okay. Wendell, Julian, Drought, yes. Sure. Alright. Let me take a look at my items. Let me go ahead and put deposit the gar cycle. We'll save that for later. Good. Sheeta's fine. Avna's fine. Hero Crest can stay on him for now, it's not a big deal. Merrick's good, Julian's fine. Bantu, you... Oh, we get deposit physic. Minerva's good, and that should be it. We always have an extra heal staff. Alright. Here we got a bunch of ballistas. This is... Yeah, these are dangerous. For the can be. If I remember correctly, these ballistas are not that accurate. Hmm. Alright. I know Lind is, act is somewhere in here. So we do need to go over here. We could... We got, we got a dragon here. We got a dragon. I could summon Bantu, have him transform into a dragon, and just have him hang out here. I want to try that. I want to try that. I want to see how well it goes. Because honestly, Bantu is probably like the only one that can realistically do something like this. Hina! We'll be able to see Palace very soon. And it must hold such painful memories for you. Ah, the fall of Palace. I can still see it in my mind's eyes. So many people were killed. The royals were all taken to the castle gate and executed in public. As a warning to everyone. After managing to escape, I turned back to see father and mother. But they were no longer what they used to be. It brought such a terrible shock to me. I wanted to cry, but nothing came out. All I felt was sorrow and regret. Regret, But that was already in the past. Now is not the time to be reminiscing. Go, Marth, to the streets where I was born, to Arcanea's royal capital of Palis. Well then. I am going ahead and I'm going to try warping Bantu. Uh, let's put him here. I want him on a... I want him on a, uh, fort. If this doesn't work, that's fine. It's just we got a dragon. Might as well actually use it. Strength, speed, and luck? Okay. Let's turn into a dragon. See how well that goes. Now over here, we got a bunch of just mercenaries. Alright, Kane and Abel's got this. I should try to give some EXP to Kane. I can have Minerva. Okay, wait. The ballistas can't move, however, their range is weird, if I'm correct. And it's not giving me a range. Yeah, we'll, okay, hold on. Accuracy. Well, uh, effective, I guess, flying. Strength. Strength of one, defensive one. 
The stone ballistas don't affect flying. This one does. The problem is I just don't know its range. Oh, anyway. Let's just have everyone keep moving. Let's see if Bantu can handle it. I might have Sheeta and Minerva head up here to help out, if possible. But I just don't know its range. And Ju oh yeah, Julian and Wendell are just kind of here, as well as Drog. They're just kind of here. Um, let's just leave these two here for now. I don't know what the range is. Alright. Yeah, we got another dragon. So yeah, that's probably going to be the toughest one here. Lena is in range. Seven damage? And I dodged? Oh, that's not that bad. Yes, go after Bantu. Do it. Oh, Bantu dodged. What a shame. Granted, the problem with doing this is that Bantu is kind of stealing the EXP by doing this. But hey, like, this is actually a pretty decent strategy. Bantu to, can just go nuts. With, like, no consequences right now. Some of these flyers just don't want to attack me. Oh, this one wants to attack Mart. But you missed. All right, go right ahead. Attack, uh, attack the dragon. It's totally gonna work in your favor. All right. That worked out. Granted, that's the toughest one there so far. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Kane already got in range of one of the mercenaries. Ouch! Kane got hit by a crit. Luckily, he survived. Bad. That's bad. Okay. So, Lena's in range. What's the best route for Bond to? He's still not at full health. But I could get rid of him. Try to get rid of the blue stuff. What are we looking at? Wait. Oh, yeah, duh. He can attack from range. Okay. So if we stand here... I hit! That ballista's gone. Perfect. And that's the bigger threat. Number four. No, yeah. He didn't get really any sap boost out of that. So again, that's that's the trade-off. 27. Yeah. Perfect. Caster's level 10, strength, speed, weapon level, and HP went up. Alright. Uh, oh, I should have had Merrick got that KO. And then have Caster grab this one. Oh, well. Can Kane grab this one? Yes, he can. He just needs to hit him. I'll get him healed. So far, Abel's doing better. Abel's doing a lot better than Kane. Wait. Maybe 
Okay, I don't want to go that far in. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's go, like, right here. Which weapon do I have? Iron? Yeah, let's just, let's just use that. Let's use up the iron. Okay, um... Level 10, level 7, level 9. Ogma! Can you weaken? Well, you won't kill, that's for sure. But you can weaken. Maybe I'll give the KO to Marth. Iron. What's your attack? Ten? He could deal three damage, but guess what? That is ex that is enough to get the KO. Marth, you need extra points and strength. You can't just rely on crits. Crits are not always going to happen. You can't rely on that. First, moving. All right, so we got rid of the biggest threat with the Ballista. So, can't. Okay, I'm going to bring my flyers a bit closer. They're still in danger if I get too close. Alright, Lena. Uh, you know what? I'll let Julian and Wendell Jog hang out here for a second. They don't need to move just yet. Alright. And the dragon's on the move. Oh, I'm in range. This is actually the biggest threat, although... Burn blood, flesh, burn everything. I mean, I take like six damage out of this. Yeah, the dragon's gonna take a little bit to take down. The ballista will do two if it even hits. I gotta take out that thief before he gets to a village. I like how some of these some of these guys are just not wanting to deal with the dragon. It's just like that's a, that's a dragon. No, I can't do anything to this. Oh, thank you, Sheeta, for a crit. Sadly, Bantu's gonna get hit twice here. But Bantu can just... Thank you. Good. Got the KO. Doing okay. Get a steel bow? Okay. Oh yeah. Abel, what can you do? We're gonna try to use up your Iron Lance. And with a crit, that will do, definitely do the trick. Alright. Bantu can actually deal with the dragon, so... I want to start working on some of these guys. Okay. What can Minerva do against the against the dragon? The Meta Cat. With a steel lance for 19 damage for attack speed. I said 19 damage, so seven. Seven damage. 14 in total. Okay, we can't attack the dragon just yet. I think it'll be best to have Bantu go ahead and work on getting rid of a different enemy. Yeah. I can get the other KO, but working on getting rid of this 
is probably better. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead, get two attacks in. Still not gonna do anything. So... Your attack is 20. Nerva, oh, you have 22 HP. Sheeta couldn't... Sheeta can't even survive a single hit, even if she was at full health. Abel can go ahead and get in range with another one. Where's Elena? Yeah, you gotta keep moving. Keep moving, Lena, keep moving. That's a plane, but so far. Dragon's attacking. Yeah, six damage. It's going to be bad if I don't get rid of the dragon. I should probably prioritize taking him out. Hmm. We basically did transform at the same turn, though. Very nice. Abel, you're level 11. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Alright. So here's the problem. What's your range? I need to get rid of a dra- I need to get rid of the dragon. It's 10 damage, but I, I have to weaken him. He is the biggest threat here. Yeah, I should have been focusing on the dragon. Bantu is the only one that can go after him. Now, Minerva, if you were to go in right now, the steel, we deal 14 damage in total. So not yet. However, what we can do... Let's bring you here. Let's get you healed. Because here's what I'm thinking. Next turn. Bantu's gonna weaken. This guy's just gonna hang out at the fort. Same thing with this guy. Bantu is gonna weaken when he attacks. Minerva can then rush in and get the dragon KO. And then Bantu can go after this. Cheetah can get rid of him. And those are all the biggest threats. Out of the way. Okay. You gotta get rid of the thief. Uh, can you do it? Kane, how are you? 18 damage, 16. Wow. Two attack points off. Can't double. Uh, Agma? Can you do it? Again, so 11. What's your attack speed? 14. Yeah, Agma's got it. Perfect. Uh, like 
one, one more. Come on. Actually, I can actually see how much damage. Uh, oh wait, that's not how it works in this game. Thirteen attack, six attack speed. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen attack. Seven defense. All right. You're right here. Abel is so far probably my best unit. He's been very good. We'll leave everyone else nearby. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Slowly getting healed, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure Sheeta can work on that. Okay, he just moved slightly, but it's okay. He missed, and I got the hit. Okay. Bunchy's level 5, no stat boosts, sadly. And this guy's going after Bantu. Okay. Don't know why. It didn't work out for you. That did not work out for you. You're going after Abel. Someone else can get the KO. Be kidding. Alright. This is probably the last turn Bantu's a dragon. Uh, okay. You're at 8 health. I... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, no. Okay, so here it's probably better to have Bantu get rid of the dragon. Try to. There we go. That's better. King Medeus, forgive me. Alright. Sheeta, full health. You get rid of. Seven attack speed, fifteen attack. Fifteen attack. Eight. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. Perfect. She just level six. Skill, speed, and luck. Oh, defense and HP as well. That's pretty good. Alright. Minerva. The seal at 19 and 4 attack speed. We got... Ooh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we got this. We got this. He has a javelin. Minerva has to worry about the ballista, but luckily it's not a arrow one. It's just rock one. We got another javelin out of that. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, all these forts can have reinforcements. But we'll have to be careful. I'm level seven. You're level six. Merrick could use it. Uh, fire? Yeah, we can use fire. There we go. Okay. Lena, you go ahead and start heading up this way. Wendell. 
Julian? Next, um... Who can get in range of these two? Okay, I can set someone right here. Uh, let's go ahead and set... Set Navarre here. Yeah, you want. Let's try to use up your iron. Barst can head up. Uh, I'm gonna need some of the units to head up. Caster, you too. Mark needs to hang out here. If all of those can be reinforcements, I need to block them. I don't know when I need to block them, but I need to block them. Okay. Level 8. Skill, luck, weapon level. Okay. And we got a crit. 9% crits. Okay. And, as you can see, he is done. He's now not a Durgan. Uh, it looks like the catapult has an infinite use. so hard to tell when I can't see the max HP on the little menu right there in the UI. Alright, Kane. We're gonna start trying to go after this ballista. Alright. Agma, can you grab the kill? Prince Marth, I am George, a sniper of Arcanea. After the Battle of Palus, I was captured by the Delu uh, Delunian Empire, but I managed to escape. When you agreed to protect Nina, I was already waiting here for you. From now on, I will use my silver bow to aid the liberation of my homeland. And we got George. Okay. Someone should check the shop. You need to stay here. Merrick. It's just a weapon shop, so Merrick, you head up. Right. Honestly, if I want another healer, I'd rather have Maria. L Wendell's just kind of here. How do I want to handle this? Minerva, if you go and attack, what are we looking at? One defense, 18, Minerva can get the KO. Or 
or, you know, if she actually hits. And she gets the 6% crit, so it worked out. It worked out. Go, Minerva. Alright. Well, the boss is gone. Might as well just wait it out. Who's left? George. Alright. There's only one enemy at the moment. We can attack Caster for 10 damage if he hits. Of course he hits. to the other village. Do you need a slave? Right now, we only have weakling kids for sale. But we can sell them to you for a cheap price. You are selling children? How dare you! If you want to live, release the children and leave this place at once. Ah, uh, the Ultian army! Help! have suffered, but it's alright now. Please return safely to your homes. Why aren't you leaving? I, I no longer have a home to go back to. Huh? You are a girl. But why are you wearing boys clothes? I am Bishop Malone's daughter, Lind. I dress up as a boy to escape from Garneth. But then I was caught by the slave merchants. Really? So you are Malone's daughter? But you can relax now. Nina has also been worried about you. From now on, we will protect you, so you won't be in danger any longer. No, Lord Marth, I want to fight as well. I have my father's oratone, which he gave me. As long as Nina permits, I can use it. I won't go... I won't... I want to personally defeat Garneth and to avenge my father. And we got Lind. Or is it Linde? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Lind. Another magic user. I see myself using her. I think she's better than Merrick. I think she actually is better than Merrick. So I will actually use her. Hopefully. Caster, well, you can attack. 15. Do you have... Enough to double? Yes. Guess it's going to cast her and not Kane. Sorry, Kane. Sorry, not sorry. Alright. Let's make sure we get all these forts plugged. Kane could head up there. Or Abel, not Kane. This is Abel. Good. So yeah, he got healed 16 HP. Why? The heal is 10, but the her res is 5. Oh, there's something else to it. Wait, is it based on her strength staff? Is the extra points in HP that heals based on her strength? Because that's the only way the math adds up that I could think of. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have Ogma go ahead and start heading up. Who is, okay, what do we have in the shop? We got a steel. We have an armor slayer. I do have a spare armor slayer, so I'm okay. Slim. Rider's Bane. I do have one. Silver spear, silver lance, and steel bow. I have a spare armor slayer. But it wouldn't be the worst idea to also have one for Agma. You know what? I'm gonna buy one. I'll let Lind go ahead and do that. Yeah. Buy 
buy one of these, and I think that's it. I still have a Rider's Bane. Haven't really felt... Haven't really used it. Okay, Navar, you start heading up too. And Martha's gonna have to slowly, slowly make to the castle to seize. Thunder and Blizzard. At the very least, those two. There we go. That'll work out. Where's your range? Okay. I can set you here. And then I can heal. Get some extra healing in. Yeah, resource power plus 10 to an ally. Well, it's no way to know right now how much I'm actually healing. But maybe it is based on her strength stat. It's hard to tell right now. Agma. Over here. Caster could block this off, but oh, I could have had Forest do that. Oh well. Okay, was that it? Yep, yeah, now it's the slow trek for Marth to get to the castle and seize. It's a slow trek, but we'll get there. Lind can go ahead and follow. Oh, oops. Master, you can go here. Kane, you can make it all the way over here. Barst? We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. And Marth. Marth hasn't really been doing much. I worry for him. He's at like, what, level 5? He hasn't been able to really do much. Granted, he's not the best fighter as it is. Everything's blocked. Unless reinforcements show up, there's no threat. And by reinforcements, I basically mean reinforcements from where we started. All we just need to do is seize the castle. Well, just in case there are reinforcements, I'll start moving everyone. I don't know. I don't think there is anymore. Okay. Should be it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, warping a dragon into the enemy stronghold is not a not the worst idea. Again, the trade-off by doing that is you're losing 
EXP that can go to other people. Because Bontu is not... As you kind of saw, he wasn't really getting any levels. So that's your trade-off. You can send a dragon in to deal with the, deal with the fights, but you're taking EXP from other characters. Nina! This is the- this is Payless Castle! Ah, oh, Payless. At last, Payless. It's so great. I have finally returned. But there should still be many captive knights in the, in the castle. I really want to help them. I understand. The enemy's reinforcements haven't come yet. We'll charge into the castle. And we have completed Chapter 9. Let's try another chapter. We have time. Chapter 10. The many small kingdoms of this region were united to become the Holy Kingdom of Arcanea over 600 years ago. The founder of Adra the first obtained three weapons from the deities and fought a holy war to unite the continent. From then on, the Kingdom of Arcanea became known as the Holy Kingdom, protected by the deities and the royal family. Were deeply respected. Oops. Recently, six kingdoms became independent, which was also thanks to the help of Arcanea. Right now, Prince Marth makes his first steps into the Grand Holy Capital of Avis. check something. I think at some point we missed a... There was a chapter we skipped. Let me look. Chapter 9 of Shadow Dragon. It was cut out from book 1. First Mana Cat. Oh, okay. If I go... Okay, I see. There was a chapter between Port Warren and the Princess Minerva chapter. And we actually get George there. Interesting. And Princess Minerva, the market, which... Cor uh, Cor uh, Norda Market, which is what we just did. Oh. I think we... Uh, Oh, wait. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. There was another uh, unit for the last chapter. Jake. Enemy. After speaking to Anna inside a house, talk to him with Sita. Not in every three. I was going to say, I kind of freaked out there for a minute. Yeah. Uh, is this a ballista user? Yeah, he was a ballista user. But he is not an FE3. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wait, uh, is that my stream just not buffering on my laptop? Is it just not buffering? Okay, it wasn't buffering. Good. Let's see. Oh, okay, we're indoors. We have to dismount. I think we need Julia. Let me take a look at the map. There's a door. We have a bunch of thieves here. Oh, yep, we need Julian for this. Another dragon, so we need magic. Okay. Not 100% sure where we start. Is that the boss right there? Yeah. The bull's high. Another mint staff we can grab. Let's see. Anything interesting to look at? A knight's crest. Okay. Wait, what was that? Elfire. Ooh, Elfire. Okay. You have a Volinary. 
kind of useful. An extra thunder tone, okay. So, I don't know what the point of this section is right here. But we got a bunch of thieves. Hold on. I think I want to re reorganize this. Because I don't know how well she is actually going to be helpful. I might venture this time. Agma and Navarre are pretty good. I need Julian. I think I want to bring in... I think I want to bring in Lind. Two magic users. Minerva can't fight with her current equipment. I think this is... Yeah, Nat. Yeah. No matter what, I need Julian. Maybe we could bench Bond to this time. Slayer. Kane's fine, Abel's fine. Someone had a was it? Four uses of an armor slayer. Oops. We'll grab the other armor slayer for now. We can even give it to Lena or Julian, doesn't matter. Levin Sword, I don't know who can use it. So the Leaven Sword, if I'm correct, when it attacks from range, it uses a Thunder spell. I think that's how it works, but then if you use it, it's 10 for physical attack. I think that's how it works. I don't know if I will use it. But it's not right now. I think I'm going to hold off on Bantu. This is okay. Yeah, we got time. Let's let's give it a go. Ah, that's why. Oh, the people in the castle are panicking. What exactly is going on? Hmm. Perhaps Nina has brought the Liberation Army here. Huh? Really? Then perhaps we can be saved. Media. We can't get complacent right now. If this continues, the enemy will decide to finish us off. Without weapons, we're sitting ducks. But, Bo, oh, we finally chased the enemy away from Arcanea. Even if we die here, we should have no regrets. <laughs> You're still so young. Or so strong, my friend. Still, if you die, Anstrad will be very sad. Yes. I, I just want to see him one last time. That's my final wish. Well, Midia, for that wish you must endure to the end. You mustn't give up. So, we need to rush over here, huh? Tomas. Archer. Callan, armor unit. Bishops. So, are they just gonna attack? What's your defense at? 12? What's your attack at? 14. Alright. Let me try something like this. Yeah, are they sl Are they just gonna slowly, like, attack me? Or are they gonna leave me alone? Yeah. 
yet. I don't know how this works over here. So we're definitely gonna need a rush. Okay, I can warp someone. I can get Navar. I could just warp Navar. And just sound like right here, Armor Slayer. Or hell, I could sound like right here, Armor Slayer. Get over here, Armor Slayer. And then, you know what? It's not, not the worst idea. Where's Navar? Or we could send Agma in. Yeah, only four uses of Armor Slayer. I don't know if I want to... No, no, no. We'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see. Uh, let's go here. And make sure that the prisoners are safe. And level 12, 12 speed and luck. Okay. Navar, go ahead and attack with the armor slayer. 27, 15, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. I was really hoping for a uh, crit. Eh, I got a dodge, that works too. Alright, hopefully Navar can handle, you know, these guys, or at least the mage. Start sending everyone in. We need to deal with the thieves as soon as possible. Agma needs to go in, so that way he can armor slayer. Or my mages take care of it, either way. Honestly, there doesn't seem to be a rush after we get rid of the thieves, so I don't need to rush Julian in. That being said, I could have Julian open this door and then send Marth through here. Or, uh, no matter what, we need someone to open the door. I don't know. Worry about it later. Uh, can Marth get up here? Nope. Going after the... Yep, they're going after the prisoners. Dragons are already transforming. Kind of dumb, but hey, he's using up his turn. Alright. Granted, the dragon has more movement. So. Okay, Navar, I need you to go ahead and iron? Do we want iron? 14 attack. Yeah, we can iron. We can use the iron. Kinda wish you got the crit on the last hit, but you know, this works out. Level 10, skill, luck. And we got a Thunder Tome. That could go in storage. And you're safe. We go here. Let's see how well Navar does. Can you get rid of six, five? Uh, no. no you can't. All right, uh, 
Dogma? Can we get rid of this guy? 13 attack. 14 attack speed, 13 attack. got a rapier. Alright. If I'm correct, that can only go to uh, Marth. So we finally have another rapier to replace. Caster, can you at least weaken? Maybe just straight up get the kill? A crit helps. Start getting closer. Evil. There's no one over here. It's just... There's nothing here. Okay. Keep on moving. up eventually. And we're good here. Okay, yeah, smart. Go after Navarre. I took six. up in a good spot. I'm not going to get to them for a little bit. We got some mages on the move. Is the dragon going to move? No. Why? Why is the dragon not going to move? So you only took six damage. You can survive another hit. With the iron for 14 damage. Nope. With the steel for 17 damage, we could get the KO. Navarre will survive this attack. Agma. At least have the armor slayer equipped. Barst. Uh, can you? What are we looking at? 22. Attack speed 6. 10. Okay, wait a minute. 25 with an attack speed of 4. He might be able to do it. 17 minus 10. Bars might be able to handle it with the Seal Axe. Bars, the only arm, uh, the only axe user you need. Or you would want, anyway. Need is a strong word. So... Stay out of range. I need to basically be right here. And then I'm gonna have to rush to the thieves, which be kind of hard to do. Don't have calves, and I don't think I'm gonna warp again. Lena, you'll catch up eventually. You're gonna attack Navarre? Yeah, that would be smart. It would be smart for you to to do that. Okay. 
we're going after Burst. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So maybe it might have not been the worst idea to actually have a Navarre maybe almost ignore them and just work on thieves. I don't know. too far away from Mana. 22. 22 attack, 2 defense. Let's go for it. Come on, Bars. You got this. Yeah. Level 11. Strength, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. That's a good level. All right, Navar. I need you to grab the KO. Perfect. All right. Everyone, just keep moving. We're gonna have to deal with a general here soon, and some mages in the dragon. If there are reinforcements, I think the only way they're gonna spawn is actually just from the entrance where we started. And that'll probably take a bit for them to get there. Okay. One more thief. He'll get to one treasure chest, at the very least. I wonder what he got. Okay. What'd he get? Orion's Bolt. Okay, that'll be for Caster. Ah, dang it. Just out of range. However, I can try. I might as well try. Hey, it worked out! We got the or Orion's Bolt. Sweet. Use your range. You got the Steel Lance. I'm fine. I'm safe. So let's see. Your range, you got L fire. So just here. Eighteen. So I could set Lind right here. With your weapons, let's see. There's no effectiveness. That's your attack speed. I think we need Thunder equipped at the very least. Actually, you know what? Let's just stay out of range. Why get in range? Why do that? This. And get over here. Oh, I need to send... I need to send Julian up there or something. Lena, keep, keep moving. You'll catch up eventually. Five movements really hindering her. Weird. Okay. Why do that? 
we can still get someone in range to attack. To attack back, anyway. Castor, what is your... You have zero res. Your attack is ten. Right? Yeah, I think so. Your attack will be ten. Your attack speed is zero. Your current attack speed is four with the iron. It's sixteen. See how much I heal up. I healed a total of 16. It seems to be based on the strength stat. stat. Well, actually, it could be luck divided by two, or speed divided by two, for all I know. Because that adds up too. Could be res plus one, I doubt that, though. Anyway, uh, actually, Julian, you should head up here. Will you be out of range? Yes. Alright. You can stay there. Magma, you have an armor slayer, so you can stay up here. Can move one square down. Let's leave it at that. The dragon just kind of wasted his transformation. <laughs> All fire. It's ten, but I dodged. And we got the counter attack. Get out of here. We don't need you. Level 11, strength, speed, and weapon level. Oh, and HP. We got L fire, that could go in storage. Oh, you're not you're not gonna rush in. You're gonna wait for someone to get in range. Okay, Castor honestly just needs like He didn't get hit. This one's even weaker. Although Castor cannot double, so that's the sad thing. That sucks about that. Oh well. Alright. Agma with the Armor Slayer is not close enough. What is your defense? Or what? Okay, no. Your defense is 17, your attack is 22. So we're taking 12 damage. But with the armor slayer, I might be okay. Yeah, we'll go for it. Can I get Mark closer? Yes, I can get him closer. And we burst as well. I think everyone else should probably just wait where they are. You got this cast caster. You may not be able to double. You can weaken. Oh no, you can double. Never mind. Get out of here. to Agma. Yeah, and I know it can survive a hit. Twelve 
all damage. And I got a crit. Oh, that helps. That really helps. And you know what? I think we're gonna give Mark this KO while we can. Or try to. Attack of 20, defense of 17, actual attack of 3, HP 3, Marth's got this. You got it, Marth, you level 6. Get a strength point, please! Level 7, got speed, and defense. Okay, we'll take the defense and HP, but you need strength! Marth, you can't kill things! First, you need healing. Let's just use the heal. We'll be okay. Yay, full heal. They're just gonna make sure they're not in range of an enemy. Maybe they can talk to Marth for all I know, but... Okay. The mages need to start going... We need to start doing something about the dragon. I also think I want Castor down here. So that way we can get rid of that guy. And I'll just move you here for now. Everyone else, we got a dragon to get rid of. It's not moving at the moment. Luckily, Blizzard deals more damage against those dragons. So that's why I brought two mages. We also have the why wait. Does the Worm Slayer work on dragons? Or just Wyvern Riders? I'm not sure. chest. What do we got? We got 10,000 gold. Perfect. Anyone who's not a range unit. You got healed already. I'll probably put Merrick in range first, because he has the HP. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. And Agma can be healed next turn. Well, Julian, you'll need to probably go with Marth. So that way, we can get the door open for him. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need to do that. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to open the door unless I really want to get rid of these healers. Which with Castor I can. Do that. 
because I don't want to get in range with the boss. Alright, doing okay. Your attack is 20. Merrick has a resistance of 3. He can survive a single hit. Lind has a resistance of 4. She could also survive a hit. So that's not bad. However, I'll let Merrick go ahead and get close. We are going to equip Blizzard. And I don't want you to get too close. Must be like a skill book or something. And just make sure everyone here is safe. done. I got a manual from the chest, probably for skill or something. Let's see how Merrick does against the Durgan. I managed to dodge. Good. 14 damage. Another 14. are trying to go heal the dragon. I'm not going to allow it. 17 damage, attack speed of 5. 7 damage in total. And I can't double. Attack speed of 2, attack of 20. Heal double if I use my steel. So I'm better off with the iron. And, okay, so he has an attack of 19. So I take I said attack of 19. I take 13 damage. Wow. Maybe I should wait a second. Alright. With the dragon, let's go ahead and let Merrick weaken him again. An attack of 20, but Merrick did not get hit at all. So we can weaken again. And he dodged again. Er oh, he just got the cut. Duh. Not thinking. Well, Merrick got it. Level 7 strength, speed, HP. And we got a Vulnerary. All right. Sorry, Lind. Maybe next time. Let's just start rushing in. So what we got left is two healers, a sniper. That's going to be annoying. A sniper, and then all these guys over here. There is reinforcements. I don't know where they're going to spawn in. Keep heading down. Oh, 
Well, that dragon was easy. If I'm gonna attack the sniper, the caster, I think I'm gonna wait until uh, Julian gets a little closer. So that way maybe Mark can attack. For now, I'm just gonna wait. enough just yet. I'm gonna let Caster go ahead and stand here. We're gonna wait. Mark just wait it out. These heroes are not gonna do anything right now. Actually, Ogma can go right here. Check. Yeah. Wrong square. Okay. Perfect. And I think Lind is not going to do anything for the rest of the chapter. Unless I try to give her some of the kills on the soldiers to the right. Maybe I'll try to give Kane those soldier kills, as well as Wind in the back. It's not the worst of you. is getting attacked. 13 damage. Ouch. Alright. So now what I can do is, Julian, you go ahead, open the door. And you can also open the chest. We got a silver sword. Iron sword, you have attack of ten. With the steel sword, you can attack. Marth, you're making this very difficult. Marth can slowly get the kill. It's slow, but he can get it done. And I can't go around. Caster, go ahead and head back. Uh, Agma, you're level 8. Can you, can you, like, do anything? 13, attack of 8. Attack speed of 8. 9 off to double. You know what? I might just give Kane this EXP. Why do I have a gut feeling someone's gonna show up from down there? Almost wanna block the path. Hopefully that sniper is not gonna be able to move anywhere. They can just heal. All they can do is heal. He's just like, I I'm leaving. I don't want to do this. This is stupid. Alright. The 
still gonna let Marth go ahead and work on this guy. It's gonna take a while. But he kinda needs it. Yeah! 3 EXP! It's gonna go slow, but we can get it. Another goddess icon, okay. Well, now Castor heads back, he can attack this one. Sure. Julian's gonna have to go up and around. We could start trying to work on the boss. Who would be able to do it? Navar? I'm thinking Navar. Attack a 17. And attack a 12, actually. And attack speed of enough to double. So yeah, attack a 12. Not enough to get the KO. Not unless I get the crit from the Killing Edge. But I could stand there. Wait. 22 attack. I have no resistance. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that. So what about Agma? If I were to attack with the steel, 16, so 11, enough to double. Not enough to KO, but he can survive a hit. And how much rest do you have? 12? Okay. No one else can really attack in range. Wait a minute. Hold on. The hand axe? Ooh. I don't want to rely on the hand axe. It's not that reliable. Okay, Agma. Let's go ahead. Equip the steel. Wait. Oh, just kind of wait here. Something like this. Probably get you on anyway. You rebels, who oppose Deluna, taste my destructive bull gum magic. Ow! He got a crit. All of that, and he decides, nah, I want a crit. I want to get a crit now. Thanks. As much as I... How much time did that take? Um... I think I'm gonna call it. We got through a few chapters. We got through a few chapters. If it wasn't for that stupid crit, if it wasn't for the crit. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scott Six Four Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. We'll try this chapter again tomorrow and continue on with the game. Unless, you know, I keep getting hit by crits, you know, because that can happen too. Anyway, have a good day.